You are not your thoughts, but your thoughts shape your world. In my video today, I'm going to tell you why you need to detox your mind. Be sure to watch the very end as I have a special gift for you there. Hi, my name is Anja Nowitzki. I'm a weight loss, happiness and transformation coach. I'm also owner of vitalityandfood.com. Welcome to my series of short videos entitled Love Your Food, Love Your Body, Love Your Life. So why do you need to detox your mind? And why are you not your thoughts whilst your thoughts have such a huge influence on your life? It's simple. Your thoughts tell your brain what to do, see and feel and that shapes your perspective on everything. To give you an example, if I tell my brain that I'm fat and ugly, my brain will do everything to make that correct. I will dress badly, eat badly, not take care of my body and soon enough, even if I wasn't fat and ugly in the first place, my brain will make that a reality. Why? Because I told it to. On the other hand, if I tell my brain that I have a fabulous sexy body and that I'm super attractive, with enough repetition, that also becomes true. And that's even if I didn't believe it in the first place. The problem is that our thoughts overcomplicate our lives. When we realize that we are not our thoughts and can, in fact, choose our thoughts, everything changes and anything becomes possible. We go from, I'm useless and stupid, to, I am a gift to this world with a huge amount of wisdom. Or even, I have special talents, which I am still exploring. We go from, I hate eating healthy foods, they're so boring, to, I love experimenting with healthy foods that nurture my body and make me feel great. So what do you think? If that negative language is something you're all too familiar with, a negativity detox could radically change your life. How to do a negativity detox. Number one, monitor your thoughts. What kind of things do you say to yourself? You might even ask someone close to you if they've noticed the negative way you speak to yourself or about yourself. Number two, flip the language. Change the negative language to something powerfully positive such as changing, I hate my body, to, I love my fabulous healthy body. Number three, this one is crucial. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Shall I say that again? Repeat, repeat, repeat. You want to repeat it so often that it becomes extremely familiar to your brain because when it becomes familiar, your brain will believe that it's true. I actually had fantastic results with this exercise personally recently. My 10 month baby was waking up several times in the night and I was exhausted and getting increasingly resentful towards him and everyone else because they weren't suffering in the same way as I was. So I decided to change something and I changed my language. Instead of repeating how tired I was and how much I hated being tired and how unfair it was, I began telling myself, I can do this. It's only a phase, I will get through it. Soon the burden of the night wakings dissipated and I even had more energy in the day. This is totally, totally true. So this really works. Are you up for it? The key points to remember are number one, monitor your thoughts. Number two, flip the language. And number three, repeat, repeat repeat. And if you're up for it, you might be interested in my special gift, which is a bit of an experiment for me. I've set up a Facebook group to anyone who would like to do the negativity detox for the month of September. It will be a great place to motivate one another and share our funny language flips plus the transformations that we notice. It's completely free and it's actually just for fun. So if you're up for it, send me a message to anya at vitalityandfood.com. And I'll send you the secret link. Thanks for watching. Love your food, love your body, love your life. Brought to you by vitalityandfood.com.
If you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends so that they can benefit from it too. That's all for now. I look forward to seeing you in the comments. Bye!